Muay Thai Winner's Circle. The 61st UFC Fight Night card will take place in Porto Alegre, and this is the first time that Brazilian City has hosted the UFC. The main event was supposed to originally feature lightweight heavyweights Glover Teixeira and former champion Rashad Evans, but the Brazilian Teixeira hasn't recovered from a knee injury, so the UFC took the headline fight from UFC 184 and moved it here. Now, Antonio Silva and Frank Murr will put the heavyweights in the spotlight in a very important tilt for both men. As per usual, when the UFC heads to Brazil, the entire card is loaded with Brazilian talent. In the Antonio Silva vs. Frank Murr heavyweight, Silva, who is 18-5 and 5 and 1 in C, is better known as Bigfoot and is known for his incredible power, but he has two first-round KO losses and a draw against Mark Hunt that was turned into a no contest because he failed a drug test following the fight. This isn't Silva's first time having issues with drugs, so he might need a decisive win and to prove that he did it cleanly to stay in the UFC. Murr, who is 16-9, has held the UFC heavyweight title belt on both an interim and undisputed basis in the past, but he has lost four straight, including two by TKO, and never looked like winning any of those fights. Murr is a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and arguably the best grappler at heavyweight. But Silva is a load to bring to the mat, and even though he is known for his striking, he is also a black belt in BJJ. The loser might be out of a job in the UFC in this match. In the Edson Barboza vs. Michael Johnson lightweight fight, Barboza, who is 15-2, is well known for bringing excitement to his fights, winning fight of the night four times, and he is 9-2 in 11 matches in the UFC. But he gets overlooked in a competitive 155-pound class, and a win would keep him in the mix for at least a title eliminator. Johnson, who is 15 and 8, has won his last three in impressive fashion and finished second to Jonathan Brookins at the Ultimate Fighter. GSP versus Koscheck, but he got into legal trouble that essentially ended his 2014 in July. Both men like to stand and strike, although Johnson has a wrestling background he can turn to. Barboza is more of a Muay Thai striker, but he does have a purple belt in BJJ. In the Cesar Ferreira versus Sam Alvey middleweight fight, Ferreira, who is 8-3, won the Ultimate Fighter Brazil middleweight tournament and has won three of his last four and he returns home where he has fought four of his last five fights. He is well-rounded, but Ferreira is a third-degree black belt in BJJ and two of his losses have come via KO, so he might be better suited to take this to the mat. Alvi, who is 24-6, has fought from 170 to 205 pounds, but he has fought best at 185 pounds and the Wisconsin native has split his first two UFC matches. He can wrestle, but Alvey's strength is his KO power and he has won 15 fights via that route and he should want to keep this fight standing up as Ferreira is definitely better on the ground. In the Rustan Kabalov versus Adriano Martins lightweight fight, Kabalov, who is 17-2, had a six-win fight streak stopped by former lightweight champ Ben Henderson. But the Russian gave a good account of himself and really showed how much depth there is at 155 pounds. Martins, who is 26-7, bounced back from a KO loss to Donald Cerrone to knock out Juan Puig. And while he has KO'd 12 fighters in his career, Martins is also a world-class grappler that has won two world championships. This could end up being the fight of the night between two men that would love to shoot up the ranks at 155 pounds. In the Luri Alcantara vs. Frankie Zayn's bantamweight fight, Alcantara, who is 31-5 and 1-1 and in C, puts a three-win streak on the line and he is dangerous wherever the fight goes with 13 KO TKOs to go with 12 submissions. Science, who is 9-2, started out at flyweight, but beat Nolan Tickman in his UFC debut at 135 pounds, and he also seems to be well-rounded with 3 KO TKOs and 2 submissions. Alcantara has the edge and experience, and the crowd will definitely be behind the Brazilian native, but Science, who hails from Phoenix, won't roll over as he looks to continue his 5-fight winning streak. In the Santiago Poncinibio vs. Sean Strickland welterweight fight, Poncinibio, who is 19-2, comes from Argentina and has split his first two UFC matches, and overall he has 11 KO TKOs to go with six submissions, so he'll look to use his striking, but he won't be worried if the fight goes to the mat. Strickland, who is 15-0, brings his perfect record into the octagon and has won his first two UFC fights, and he has 7 KO TKO wins to credit to go with 4 submission wins. 
However, he is used to fighting at 185 pounds and it will be interesting to see how the weight cut feels for Strickland. Click over right now to check out all the NBA, MMA, UFC and boxing odds on the board and make a few wagers at BetDSI.com.